astronomical event. Most people really want to see this, right? But finding a pair of solar eclipse glasses to do this safely could be really tough. Our Brooke Rogers live with what we all need to know before Monday. So Kaylee, these are the glasses that everyone's talking about. And how can you tell that they're NASA approved? Well, you have to look for that ISO sticker and also that ISO number designation that begins with one, two, three. So why do you need them? Well, in our area, 75% of the sun will be obscured by the moon at 1.09 p.m. on Monday. But staring at even a small amount of direct sunlight, even briefly, can cause permanent damage to your eyes. So these glasses are a must. Experts say you should monitor children very very closely if you take them outside and very small children who won't understand why you may want to keep them inside but those glasses are hard to find sold out nearly everywhere at UT Arlington the planetarium sold 4,000 glasses in three days the director says he wasn't even surprised since it's the first solar eclipse visible to us since 1979 there was a long line uh, in front of the gift shop. Uh, I know people draw from long distances. Uh, they, they draw from Plano, they draw from uh, far Fort Worth uh, to get glasses. And some people actually, um, yesterday, uh, they got off to work a little early uh, to make it on time to the gift shop. So what do you do if you don't have these glasses but want to see the eclipse on Monday? Well, at 6, we'll show you how to make a NASA-approved device at home. Live in Dallas, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.